Let's see, now I'm going to do a roll for <coughs> the bad guys, so to speak, and see if they notice shit. No, you lucky fuckers. All right, you uh, continue forward. You get up there, and you see a bunch of elves gathered around a large man who's wearing a lot of red and white, like the whites around the, the uh, collars and the wrists and stuff. And it looks like he's uh, been injured. Um, he's currently gesturing with what appears to be a giant candy cane pointer at a map. The elves seem to be armed with uh, various makeshift weapons of a Christmas uh, theme. All of the elves are tiny. They're, if you were to stack three apples on top of each other, that's their approximate height. Uh, and a couple of them do have what appear to be uh, uh, assault rifles, but they're scaled for them. And uh, Sam is like, all right, we're going to have to get back to the workshop. <coughs> but Santa, you're injured, and they have the numbers. Santa says, you're right. In order to get it back, we would need some sort of Christmas miracle. Ta-da! Says Alex. <laughs> 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 oh, I think a refill. Oh, that's lovely. Um, no problem. Uh, everybody goes, oh, and they, it looks like they'd like to flee or whatever, but, you know, having somebody go, ta-da! And, you know, it, it, they're like, could this be the Christmas miracle? So they do that instead of shooting randomly this round. I start singing hallelujah. Nice. Everybody looks at him like, oh. And then they look at the day like, because you haven't done anything yet. They look at you. All the elves look at you. There's probably 20 of them here. So is this the North Pole, is it? Uh-huh, says one of the elves. Uh, meanwhile, uh, uh, Doc Fulton is doing this lovely aria in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Well, back up singing for him. Right, roll. Yeah, I get my singing. All right, <laughs> they look impressed. <laughs> Several of the elves uh, uh, begin clapping and stuff, and um, Santa says, "Well, aren't you all on the nice list?" And then he looks at us. <laughs> yeah, he's like, uh, "I guess so." All right, well, he says. Thank you for coming. And at that point, one of the elves' heads explodes with gunfire, and you go into standard combat. Round one. Yeah, bigger, bigger, bigger. Let's see. There we go. Heroes are first, villains are second. Babbling incoherently is approved. Chris, what do you do? <laughs> I look to see where it came from. All right. And. Uh, Matt, what do you do? <laughs> Take a card. And Pete. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm also looking to try and work out where sure. the gunfire is coming from. Go for it. Uh, does anybody want Def God, which basically means you don't have to refill. You, you don't use any ammo during combat. No, thank you. All right. Yeah, all the, all the PCs are pretty much melee guys now. I'm not sure yeah, where I, the know. I wasn't happened. sure. All right. So you two guys notice that off of the various tunnels and stuff, there seem to be uh, about half a dozen elves. Again, three apples are so high that have come in and they're like shooting at the elves here. The elves from your guys' thing, several of them push Santa off of the thing, so he's got a little bit of cover. It's like shitty uh, wooden cover and stuff. And uh, others panic, and a couple of them even use Santa's cover, 
and then kind of realize what they're doing and go, ah, and they're looking around wildly and trying to figure out target and stuff. We now go to the bad guys. And are they, they dressed differently? I know. They are dressed just like your friendly elves. Right. Just to make it easy to tell the difference. Exactly. They go, dang, 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 and they, they shoot up the table and stuff. And you notice that the bullet penetration on the table, not great. Um, so, yeah, these, these guns apparently do very little damage, but they have a lot of bullets and stuff. So they shoot around wildly. Um, right. <laughs> next, next round. Heroes are first, villains are second. Chris, what do you do? <clears throat> I get cover. All uh, right, you squat down behind the table. Matt, what do you do? That was the first. Uh, nothing. Uh, I take cover. All right, Pete, what do you do? Yeah, I'm going to take cover at the moment. No problem. Uh, let's see. The friendly elves attempt to return fire. And the enemy elves continue while both of them are do, 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 and you see one of the enemy elves uh, this round had taken out what looks like a Christmas tree ornament. He then pulls off the uh, the hook, and now we go for next round. Fortunately, it appears everybody's wildly enough to combat. Villains are first, heroes are second. Right. The one throws the Christmas ornament while the rest continue peppering uh, you guys and the elves and stuff uh, ineffectually. So, Chris, what do you do? Christmas ornament, midair, coming in toward the fat man. Whoa, uh, Susanna. If he isn't Santa, he looks a lot like Santa. And not the fucking creepy Santa either from that fucking movie or TV show, but the regular Santa. Chris, what do you do? I'm going to fast draw my pistol and try to shoot it. Go for it. You're going to be at negative. Oh, I pull it out. You slowly pull out your gun. And <laughs> Kinley, what do you do? Uh, I fast draw my uh, sword. And I try and bat the fucking grenade away with the sword like a fucking bat. You're negative 30 to hit it. It's pretty small. Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, by negative 30 at least. Did you make it by negative 60? Hold on. So I've got 101 in the skill. So negative 30 would be... Seven you have a 101 in your fucking sword skill? Yeah. All right, it flies right back toward the bad guys who go, ah! and Pete, what do you do? I smile and laugh. <laughs> All right, we now go to next round. Uh, heroes are first. Throwing aside your own weapon in contempt is approved. Uh, Chris, what do you do? I wait for it. I want to see what happens with the... Uh... The ornament Matt, of doom. Yeah. Matt, what do you do? That was a great shot. I got my sword. <laughs> hey, Kurt. Pete, what do you do? Um, yeah, I'm waiting to see what the. <laughs> All right, Pete, what do you do? <laughs> oh, he's doing a mic drop with his sword, is he? Uh huh. <laughs> I'm watching to see what the ornament does. No problem. Uh, you guys spend the round observing. That's fine. Uh, the ornament goes off, and all of those guys are now... It, some sort of green mist stuff comes out. And they appear to be fucking dealing with it better than Logan expected. <laughs> We're immune to our own shit, apparently, he yells one of them. And they begin rattling off fire. A couple of them are bothering to shoot at Alex this round. The rest are continuing peppering the elves. The peppering the elves roll. Eh... Alex and Alex. All right. Machine gun fires going all around Alex, who did a mic drop with his sword. It just shows like them trying to stitch a perfect outline of him without hitting him at all. 
and you guys observe this and it's quite something they're only since you spent the round observing you guys notice there's only five of them and uh, both of you give me uh, empathy at negative 30. If you make it, you pick up a new skill at learn called Elven, or yeah, Elven Empathy. Uh, and it's for these kind of elves rather than the full size elves. So Keebler Elf Empathy. Uh, the, the two people who spent the round observing. Right, 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 right. Yes, I make my Keebler Elf Empathy. You pick up a new skill at you pick up a new skill at learn, Keebler Elf Empathy. Congratulations. I think I've already got Keebler Elf skill somewhere here, actually. Yeah, I was thinking keep, that sounds for me, Keebler Elves. All right, and moving on. I don't know what kind of freaky skills you guys have. Uh, let's see. Oh, the good guy elves. Sorry, I didn't do them yet. God damn, everybody sucks at fighting, you're thinking. You've never seen so many people missing uh everybody this round it looks like yep it's reloading round so heroes are first any action you have to roll for if you succeed is approved chris what do you do i throw the table at the elves i want a strength roll at regular at full and if you make that uh then uh you can do a throw roll <coughs> Our cover! So several of the elves as you pick it up. <laughs> so how far away were the bad guy elves? Maybe eight meters. Okay. Where the fuck is strength? It is the top left hand side of core skills. Because it's not a stat anymore. Hooray! So it's con then strength. Oh, there it is. And strength at what? Full. Full strength roll. Ah, nice. negative 30? Right. Okay, so instead of, uh, uh, let's see, D8 for large club, uh, do you have a uh, strength bonus per chance? Yeah. Is your strength 80 or better? Yeah. Enjoy your D10, sir. It flies straight and true onto the all of them. You want to roll, uh, I'm just going to have you do one damage roll uh, for all of them. So uh, it's a d10, and you'd like to get high. <laughs> nice. Right. They all they all go, no! <laughs> <laughs> it appears the, the fighting is over. They are I, squished flat. Uh, let me check with, what? I stand on top of the table. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, uh, let's see. Uh, Matt and Pete, do you want to do anything this round that you have to roll for mm -hmm. so you can get a card? Excellent. I, Give was, me a going, roll. I was going to sprint uh, out after the table and clean up. Give me a sprint roll, no, yes. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's going to take Chris a couple of rounds to mosey over there and jump up and down on it. You know. Actually, yeah, I should have moseyed over there. That's even a better one. Doesn't yeah, go I for a mosey. No, no, no. Yeah. I said I was sprinting. It's all right. Oh, you haven't rolled yet. Yeah, it's okay. I'll, I've sprinted over there. <laughs> okay. I declared no what I was doing. and Yeah, Yeah. well, you get a card out of it. Enjoy. So, uh, right. Santa's like, well, it looks like you're very good, Doc Fulton. Oh, oh, oh. And I go into cyber psychosis and go for Zerk and kill Santa. Excellent. <laughs> 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 He says, maybe you are the one looking at Doc Fulton. That doesn't sound good. No, I'm the bringer of doom. That's the one I point at Alex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually curious as to how Santa is reacting to Alex now that things have calmed down a little. Uh, why, how do you mean, or why, why would you ask that? Because I made yellow eyes, magic. Oh, yeah, he's fine with that. He says, I so he don't. Doesn't, he doesn't keep turning, go slowly. I turn step by step and try and follow him. No, no. Good, good. He says, I don't know. It is Christmas Eve, the time of redemption. And you have done so well, James. 
James, with your bloodshed so bright, won't you ride my sleigh tonight? <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, good, he says. Won't Mrs. Clovis get jealous? Unfortunately, she's with her sister. But we have several objectives. By the way, it's obvious that Santa is really wounded and he needs a doctor. Uh, wow. Putting putting like fucking uh, um, gumdrops and shit in his wounds, not helpful. <clears throat> Do you have a first aid kit, uh, Doc, or no? I always carry a first aid kit on me, even a small one. Great. Uh, yeah, if you want to give him like a doctor. First, yeah, well, you, you don't have to be a doctor. You could be a, just a slayer. <laughs> oh, God, that works on so many levels. So, uh, yeah, you doctor him up. Uh, he, he says, we're going to have to move to a different cave. Well, if uh, unless, yes, because if their tracking party comes back and they didn't find... Uh, if their tracking party doesn't return, then they'll know it's this cave. So we'll have to move to a different one. But we have several objectives. They show you on a map, which you don't get to see because I'll just tell you about it. They're, the workshop are bunches of these RLs who needs to be subdued. They have the bag. What is going on is, unfortunately, an elf named Bernard has taken it over because he's a nationalistic Keebler elf, and he is trying to help the Keebler elves against the dreaded Smurfs. Huh. So uh, that's where I've heard the name. <laughs> so he has taken the gift bag and dumped out all the little boy and little girl's presents, and loaded it up with munitions. What a cook! Yes, that's right, Alex. So the bag needs to be emptied out, the presents put back in, and the sleigh and reindeer need to be taken. So and what you're trying to say is you want us to empty your sack? <laughs> after, after, well, wouldn't that be part of <laughs> Doc riding in his sleigh? <laughs> you want Doc to empty your sack. <laughs> oh so it just face palms. Well, the house is like, I don't get it. And everyone goes, I'll explain later. <laughs> I am St. Patrick. Um, so, yes, uh, getting the sleigh shouldn't be a problem because according to my scouts, Pixie and Mixie, they uh, are not heavily guarding that area. But the workshop, that will be very difficult. And you have to retake it before they can uh, finish with making their munitions and deliver them to their Keebler elf brothers. I'm sure that you guys know how to deal with reindeer and hook them up to the sleigh and such. Oh, yeah, it'll be fun. Great. What do you? <laughs> reindeer. Oh, ho, ho. How hard can it be? Exactly. Now, whatever you do, don't go further away from the workshop and such. Pixie and Mixie will take you to the workshop. They're holding hands and looking at you guys like, oh, my God. But don't go further away from the workshop or the patrolling snowmen will try to kill you. I run with creating spontaneous dogs. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they, they watch you uh, thrashing around. Doc, you've got to help him, says one of the elves. Help him, help him. I, I well, gave him his first aid. Yes. He, he, no, they were talking about Alex because they thought that he was going into an epileptic fit. Oh, no, he just needs uh, some eggnog. A good oh, kind. Oh, they understand that. One of them produces a fucking thimble size uh, uh, flask and pours it into a uh, cup and is offering to pass up this fucking... He needs a Santa-sized one. Oh, they say. Now, here's mud in your eyes as the elf drinks it. <laughs> I'm surprised Alex didn't snatch it out of his hand and scoff it down. He's distracted right I, now. I would have been if I wasn't trying to do my character sheet. <laughs> yes. 
Santa says, since you've given me first aid, if I'm not killed by those naughty, naughty list Keebler elves, I can drop you off to wherever you're going in the sleigh. Anywhere? Well, where are you going? Amber? I don't know what that is. But you know what? With your sleigh, we can get across that snow, and you can exactly. help us get to where we need to go. Exactly. That rhymes. Well, it rhymes. <laughs> as long as it doesn't take too long, says Santa. I have a lot to do tonight. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, but we this can do night it after. always lasts forever, doesn't it? It's magic. Yes. Mm. Yes. I'm mm -hmm. stealing my thunder, Doc. Oh. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, well, go retake the workshop, and we'll get it done. We're going to hide in a different cave. We, Pixie and Mixie will go with you in order to help you uh, find the stuff you need. So how many um, insurgents are there? About 147. About 147. <laughs> we think so. And how many We're hostages? Not sure of a couple of the elves. And how many hostages? Hostages? That's the that's the couple that we're not sure on. There might be as few as two or as few as zero. They've been very naughty, but that's nationalism for you. And I'm assuming oh. burning down the workshop is probably not a good thing. No, we need the bag. The bag can store the presents for the children. Yes, he says. So I you, can't you, wait until you, Mrs. Claus comes back. Oh, oh, oh! You don't have any control over the the um, patrolling snowmen. No, they're snow golems. Right, so but you can't command them to go into the bookshop. No, of course not. He nods and smiles. If I was able to talk to them, I could do that. But I'm not doing well right now. Moving is going to suck. Kill me. <laughs> so if, Ber if Bernard is taken out, do you think the rest of the elves will fall back in line? I don't know. Maybe. But you have to stop him because if they get done with those weapons and put them in the sack and then deliver them to all the soldiers, everybody will have a shiny new AK-47. Ho, ho, ho. And what's wrong with that? That's bad because then they'll kill the Keebler, or no, they'll kill the uh, Smurfs. We can't have that much bloodshed on Christmas. Christmas is a time for magic and children and eggnog and stuff. Serious masturbating. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Slaying elves, are you listening? <laughs> the blood is red and it's glistening. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes. did, did anybody want uh, futuristic skills plus 20? Yeah. Sure. There you go. Plus <coughs> something, whatever you want, discard it. I just had to get down to four cards, so. It looked like it was a useful card, but... Others might be a bit more handy. You'd better hurry, says Santa. Otherwise, we'll be fucked. Oh, 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 oh. All right, let's go All check right. this place out. Yep. Excuse me. Right. Pixie and Mixie are happy to go with you. Well, okay. For a degree of happiness. Um, right. Give me stealth rolls to stealthily approach the factory. 
Uh, who wants Pixie and who wants Mixie? Because there's two of them and three of you. There Can you guys take the bells off your shoes, please, first? <laughs> they look sad. But our bells are happy bells. And the one off your head as well. <laughs> they say they do so. You can have happy Thanks. bells or a happy death. I mean, whichever you prefer. That's a card yeah. for uh, uh, Pete for remembering the bells. The elves look disappointed. So, uh, right. Uh, how's those stealth rolls going? Uh, we'll replenish. Got it. Uh, stealth. Uh, negative 60. Yep. Made it. And Doc? Uh, I'm there. I made it already. Oh, sorry. Right, you guys sneak over and you find a large warehouse looking like a, uh, it's a big warehouse looking building. It's got a lot of tall smokestacks which felt belch forth black smoke. It's roughly four stories high. You guys sneak up. Uh, they do have some uh, patrols and stuff that you can sneak past. You go over and you look in through the frosted glass windows and you see tons of elves. All of them are three apples high. All of them are wearing a beret. And they're working on various elf-sized weapons on <laughs> conveyor belts like AK-47s, RPGs, grenades, etc. Looks like a typical warehouse with lots of conveyor belts. These all seem to be powered by the uh, uh, shafts that are up in the up a uh, couple stories up, and then they've got those long belts that run to them and stuff, like a Dickensian workshop. Mm -hmm. um, and it smells like it's powered by coal. Apparently, Santa Claus hasn't gone green yet, the bastard. There's a lot of catwalks and such, uh, presumably to get to long belts that uh, power the lower conveyors. There's also an office up a flight of stairs. Note, the catwalks and such, not human size. Uh, however, the stairs and offices and stuff are made for Santa-sized peoples. Uh, although there is also a much smaller staircase that runs parallel to the big staircase so that you can get elves up and down that fucker. Um, there's also large walls on either side of the staircase, uh, making it so if you wanted to go up the stairs and stuff, unless somebody is at the front or back, they wouldn't see you. If they were, then they would easily see you. There's also an address the troops area. It's about three stories up, flanked by candy canes and shit. From there, you can look down on the entire warehouse. You can reach it by either going up the stairs or coming out of one of the offices. Or if you want, if you were somehow able to scale or fly up the exterior of the building and stuff, and going through the windows, you'd get there. Um, let's see. There's also uh, some unguarded stairs that you could get to some other offices. Uh, there's a couple uh, like offices and stuff. Um, there's also <laughs> um, you notice that there's also a wall that has, and I've got this written, I'll just read it here. There's also a quote, nice wall, which has a photo of the nicest person on it. Nobody that you guys recognize as well as a naughty wall, which has a large picture of Dr. Fulton on it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's the also a... You're on it and not Mildred Doc. I don't mm. know. Oh yeah, Doc. Doc has got her beaten out. She's just crazy and shit. He, yeah, he, he's naughty. Um, there's also a few large bags of letters to Santa, which could be hidden behind or used for a really shitty cover. Um, let's see stuff going on. There's also the elves are kind of genderless. Um, you're not sure if the boys, girls, uh, here and there, they seem to be ignoring the conveyor belts and. Uh, doing things like, yeah, lick that candy cane, give me your great big North Pole, your body really gives me the Christmas spirit, I'm going to cram that North Pole right up your fruitcake, and occasionally you'll see a spray of glitter going off from uh, some of these elves. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas oh. herpes it is. <laughs> Everybody take a card, I forgot it's the uh, head elf's name is Elf Guabara. So it's not Bernard? No. No, Bernard's a different dude. My mistake. Uh, he is the most Jewish. Bernard is the most Jewish looking elf you've ever seen in your life. You're not sure how he got the Christmas spirit, but apparently annual gift man transcends religion. Um, and uh, yeah. 
So letters what to was, numbers. Sorry. Or numbers to letters, sorry. Uh, numbers to letters. Everybody get rid of all your plus skill percentage cards and draw new cards for them. Hooray. A little extra plus one damage for you the entire combat. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> Andy. Yes. Considering you're looking at a ass load of elves. Now, as far as like, are these elves keeping an eye out? No. They are not expecting anything here. Oh, also another area you passed um, is the uh, stables, and there's a big fucking sled in there, what you'd expect for Santa Claus. Uh, there are double the number of reindeer that you think that there should be, and uh, there are some elves that are guarding it, but by guarding it, they actually mean having a uh, loud poker game. But there are patrols going around the workshop and stuff that you guys easily infiltrated, even though you are pretty much mountain size compared to these little fuckers, uh, because they possibly looking for other elves or just wildly incompetent, or you guys are all ninjas. Um, but yeah, nobody here is expecting anybody to actually be able to get into the workshop. But it looks like if uh, people do, they have enough weapons at easy reach to pretty much start a very small war. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, ah, look, more Christmas spirit went off over there. Big spray of glitter. Yeah. <laughs> They're naughty elves, says one of your elves. <laughs> Oh, yeah. He's on the very, on the very, walk. very naughty. Mixie and uh, Pixie just shake their heads. Uh, does anybody want a mm, any mini money? Anyway. How about a round revision? Ooh. Has sure. anybody got any crap cards? I suppose because I'll, I'll, I'll take that. Five fairly decent cards. You notice Pixie and Mixie are now both on uh, McKay. They're using him just to stand on stuff. But then they start doing the flirting thing with each other. McKay can't see it, but he can hear it. He knows what's getting ready to happen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. How do those killer elves make those cookies taste so good? <laughs> <laughs> You're finding out. McKay, this is your first in your life. You've never had two elves fucking while standing on you before, but now you can't say that anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he just stands there. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, you're on the nice list. Yeah, yeah. See you two are really focused. I'll make sure Santa knows of your dedication. Yeah, Santa, Santa, yeah. And glitter. <laughs> McKay now has glitter in his hair and stuff. Yeah. It's Christmas. Oh, you can tell when I wrote this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So that's, that's the general layout. If you have any questions or whatever, let me know. So I'm assuming the bag does not appear to be in the sleigh at the moment? No. It's in Any... the shop being loaded up with all kinds of... Uh... Okay, so it's on the floor, is it? Yeah. It, that's, that's pretty much... Uh, it, it's, it's being carefully packed by uh, several different elves and stuff, and they're putting, like, labels and stuff on it, and it looks like many of those names are from the Naughty Book. Dun, dun, dun. Or naughty list or whatever. It's naughty. They're naughty elves. So we've got to get the bag and the sleigh and the reindeer out of there, do we? Well, no. The sleigh and the reindeer are in a different building altogether. Oh, okay. Sorry. I thought they are in the building as well. No, no, no. They're, they're over in the stables. Uh, okay. Pretty much the bag is in here. But unfortunately, it appears that the uh, workers have seized the means of production.
now do they just need the bag or they need the workshop too give me a memory roll to see what santa told you <laughs> Just, you hmm. i asked so do they need the bag do they need like what's going on we you have to kill the naughty owls or make them be nice make them be nice they weren't always like this you know what, what started happened? them being mean elf guevara he's a poopy head don't say poopy you stupid cow okay where where is elf guevara can you see him in there he's up in the office yes all right so we can is there any external gantries walkways or are they all internal they're they're internal but uh the bricks do have cracks and stuff in them i mean you are wearing heavy gloves and stuff so they aren't going to help nearly as much but mm -hmm. it is possible though fairly unlikely to scale the outside of the here and there icy patches building up four stories break in through a window somehow quietly if you can get one open or if one has failed to be locked and then uh uh, do the hanging on on uh, the mm, uh, elf-sized uh, catwalks, which you hope are as strong as they look, and then go rrr, 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 over to the office if you wanted to try it that way. Of course, being able to fly like a bird would make it much easier. Are you guys uh, children? Are you unbaptized? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's one of Doc Fulton's favorite scenes ever. It wasn't the Doc, though. Wasn't it? Nope. Who was it? Steven. He was my brief character that went insane because of a moon beast and then became a vampire. Ah. He used to stalk Jen all the time because she had a plunging neckline, and that was one of the things I was insane, insane against. <laughs> it's a good vampire insanity. All right. So, shall we sneak in, climb the scaffolding? That Kill. way looks really, really Kill. challenging, but it's maybe is, possible. Is there, is there like a, is there a skylight into Santa's office? Hmm, that's a good question. Give me a luck at negative thirty, and then there's a big skylight. <clears throat> so missed it by that much then yep. all right that's memory you rolled this is luck god damn it don't forget your modifier See, I like this already. It's like, yeah, maybe he makes it. No, he doesn't. So, good for him. No! Santa is a cheap bastard. And it's cold. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah. Yeah. What do we do to warm up? Hmm. Yeah. Oh, baby. So, if I was to throw you two over there, that would act as a distraction and lure out a couple of the elves. Okay. <laughs> He's saying the innocent. Mm, Where does Santa keep all his Santa suits? That would be over at the Santa house. See, it's around back. We all, we could sneak over there if you want. What happens if we the three of us wore Santa suits and attacked from different areas? That might mm -hmm. panic them into thinking there's more than one Santa because they're already afraid of Santa. And that may... <sighs> And that could drive them all, you know, and then maybe we could overpower the Javara. The yeah, the the mind power, like the the uh, oh. hold that he has over them. Both the both the elves begin to applaud until they realize you're supposed to be stealthing and then they kind of stop and look embarrassed. So does Javara wear anything different to the other elves? Has he got a sash or something or a ribbon or something to signify he has that you sure he has a t-shirt uh-huh with shay shay guevara on it uh-huh mm -hmm. 
He looks so good in a beret. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, I, I like your plan, Doc. It, it's got that sort of Christmas spirit. Says one Christmas of the Christmas spirit. Yes, and I'm yeah, sure. Christmas spirit. <laughs> Let's go with that. <laughs> Everybody, give me a stealth roll to successfully infiltrate Santa's house at fall. Nobody's going over there. In fact, you're at a plus ten percent because they're not interested. There's nothing good in there, as far as they know. Cut two shows you guys looking around for Santa suits and stuff, and Alex pulls this fucking huge black dildo out of the oh. drawer. Why, Mrs. Claus, <laughs> you <laughs> slut! <laughs> oh, is that the way Santa likes it? <laughs> I don't know. Is there straps too? Yes. <laughs> well, uh, best Christmas spirit ever. So you guys uh, each are wearing a Santa suit. Uh, Alex, there's cotton balls and stuff, but I'm going to need a disguise roll from you to get the beards right on everybody if you have that. Good, boy. Uh... Right. You guys are all dressed up and look like Santa Claus. What do you do? Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> if you want to sound like him, it's merely a mimicry role. Not an acting role? Uh, no, acting, you can mimic his uh, movements, his stuff like that, but to sound like him, mimicry. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cast a phase on myself. Oh, that, let me check the magic uh, area. Before you here. do so, before you... I, I will stop you from casting, Doc. What's up? That's um, easy. Unless, Slap that out of his mouth. <laughs> unless you've had something to replenish your magic points, we're all we were all drained back in <laughs> Kinleyville. You guys might be drained. I'm still. In Wait, we were. I thought we had. I thought it was down two points. No, no, no down, down two, two, two two points. points. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Clarity. Okay, so I'm going to cast my shit, and, uh... <laughs> <laughs> well played clarity card. So everybody gets magic except the Yeah, good. All right, magic level here is anything goes. So no willpower roll needed. Did you like that I slipped in uh, not just this plot, but another plot before you guys even got to go to Amber? Yeah. <laughs> I am the master of fucking distraction. Uh, yeah, what do I get for it now? Uh, anybody want magic, magical immunity? Invulnerable to magic for the entire round if played at the beginning of the round. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. There you go. Is, are you need are you doing the um, uh, dissemination or does he need to trade you something for that? Um, it's the whole discarding down to four stuff. So Chris needs to discard a card then. Uh, yes, yeah, that's right. Discard cool. one card. Or shuffle with Alex. Shuffle with Matt if Matt's got crap. Groovy. So you guys are all dressed up as Santa. There's all kinds of miscellaneous stuff here, food and all that. Uh, uh, Fruitcakes, um, cocoa, uh, marijuana cookies, the usual Christmas things. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Plus it's a heated house. It's nice to get warmed up a little bit. Uh, but yeah, the Santa suits, uh, they, they seem to be uh, very comfortable and whatnot. I'm going to activate my magic glasses and look around while I'm here. Oh, yeah. The Santa suits themselves are magical. Analyze magic? Yes.
And take card, Chris, as well. Nice. That's wow, it. you've gotten that up high. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Let's see. Um, as long as you're wearing the suit, like, properly and whatnot, and all the pieces, including the hat, you can ignore temperature. As long as it's cold. Ooh, cold temperature you ignore. Also, uh, um, yeah, temperature in, yeah. Um, so there you go. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, there's no other interesting magic items in the house that I know of, unless you can suggest anything, then, then maybe. Does anybody have any ideas for any other Christmas-themed magical items in the house? He doesn't have any cool weapons or anything in there. Actually, he might. Um, Pete, give me a luck roll on that, just for miscellaneous stuff because Santa Claus does know how to rock and roll sometimes. Half or minus 30. Minus 30. He has an RPG in here. No. <laughs> um, anybody play with, play with uh, uh, D8 uh, 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 rockets. So okay. roll, roll a D8 and that's how many Fucking rocket Santa has on his RPG because, yeah, eight rockets. Apparently, he's expecting a lot of naughty fuckers. So I don't know if anybody knows how to use an RPG, yeah, but if about you, do either of you have any knowledge on how to use this thing? Nope. No, but I could might be able to take one of those rockets and turn it into a grenade. Go for it. An IED, uh, technically, but yeah, that'd be a demolitions roll if you want to open it up and tinker with the explosive thing. The elves uh, both go and plug their ears. <laughs> but you want me to do so? They they aren't moving back at all. If it goes off and maybe kills you guys and the elves and shit, at least they're not going to have to hear it. Possibly because their ears will be quite a ways from their corpses, but... Nice. All right, yeah, you, you, uh, if you don't mind taking apart like uh, four of them, then you'll have like two large bombs. Okay, great. You've got two large bombs that pretty much, uh, you, you found a uh, cigarette lighter. It looks like either Santa or Mrs. Claus, uh, likes some weed now and then. Um, and so you've got a cigarette lighter and you've made some fuses and stuff. Um, so yeah, pretty much, uh, it's, it's a light and you, you're not sure on how long you'll have for the fuses because, you know, fuses, uh, homemade fuses are very variable. Okay. So it's pretty much uh, light and run like a bitch and then get cover. You're thinking cover would be a good thing. These will definitely, these, these will put a fucking healthy hole in a building. So did you guys make toys before this? Uh-huh. Could we put like these on a radio controlled car and then like drive it in? <laughs> give me give me a uh, give me a uh, luck roll for a radio controlled car in here. Oh wait, uh, well. Yeah, it's all you, Chris. They might have some in here. Is that that would have made it by half by sixty. Uh, there are there's a, a several radio controlled cars, which. Unfortunately, is a new skill, radio-controlled car slash drone. Nice. But you've got... I'm going to, I'm going to get one of Santa's pipes and <coughs> some of these tobacco. Tobacco. Well, you find Santa something that's a, kind of like tobacco. Well, Santa smokes a pipe, so... Yes, it looks like he's upgraded from tobacco to <laughs> something else. Wacky so I'll, make, I'll make use yeah. of my own tobacco then. Wait, you said that magic works fully here, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. I wonder, because sometimes when magic is really, really usable, you can use spells that normally wouldn't use. What about using ghost telekinesis? To like, not, that, not that good. No. If you, it's you, been in the past. You, that's why I'm asking. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, his, his goes up to uh, uh, you don't need a willpower roll type thing. 
Okay. It, it hasn't quite gone into wacky territory. Well, Good no, thought, even though. in other places it's used, it's been that way, but that's fine. That's fine. It's actually the same you, amount of skill. I was you've got your radio controlled cars. Be happy with those. I'll probably just light and toss them because. Well, if you, if you can give me a jury rig roll mm -hmm. and either electronics or mechanical repair, then you could make it so that you can put them in there and then have it light itself like automatically light type thing you know honestly if it was just on a skateboard and we could just roll it so that way because i'm assuming if i throw it it might disassemble the the bomb or something uh <coughs> maybe depends on your throwing also but it, it just um putting it against something will especially if you channel the explosive and stuff uh could could do better depends on what you do with it i mean if you were to put like these up against is you couldn't roll a skateboard or even these cars over uh areas that haven't been heavily trafficked as far as so um so mixy no uh-huh how, how dedicated are you to santa i would do <laughs> anything for santa <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'll take the card for sure. <laughs> 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 oh, what, what, what can I do to help out Santa? Me too, me too. Says Pixie. So we make a couple uh, suicide this? bombers out of the elves. <laughs> 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 oh my Christ. Pete, just just take another card on top of that. Aaron. It's just getting more and more. Right, so you've got them both in the suicide bomber vest. They both have um, uh, cigarette lighters, and they're no, ready. no, no, no. I got something better. I'm gonna make it so they can they run in and then they pull a cord. Of course. <laughs> Give me a mechanical repair roll, and that'll take care. I got of jury rig by half, so there oh, we go. Great, yeah, they're ready to go. <laughs> so what happens when we pull this? An explosion of off. glitter will happen. That's right. You'll have so much glitter. Can we try it now? No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> they look like they're ready to fucking pull them. You want, might want to get them moving soon before they fucking do it. You need to be in the middle of a bunch of them, and you'll blow all the glitter up, and it will be spreading Christmas joy to everyone. They look really enthused. Can we go now? This is just to show the others just how much fun it is to be on Santa's side. Okay. So we want to get as many of them around us as we can before we give them the glitter, and that makes them yep. nice? Yep. Okay. So they're ready to go. Can we go now? Can we? Can we? They begin jumping up and down. It makes it makes the bomb maker a little nervous. He's like, <laughs> they're ready to go. Are we ready, ready to go? go? Yeah, yeah, I can't think of anything. Did either of you want to take the RPG? I think I, I don't want to take it because I think we're more likely to blow ourselves up with it. Than... Well, there's no more ammo to it. No, there, you still got four four rockets left. Yeah, oh, you I don't used know how four to rockets to make. <laughs> this, is, this is how you get a check, though. Just imagine the fun you'll have. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, or you could just keep the rockets for you know. That's really <laughs> bomber. There are a couple more. Santa had a few more L's with him. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm not sure uh, he'll get. I'm not sure he will get to make the presents, but right. Is there um, anything? Yeah. Uh, anything else you want to tell them before they go rushing off? Nah. All right. So, I hope your friends enjoy all the glitter. Yay! They say you should count together when you do it too. Yes. So you okay. do it at the same time, and that'll spread maximum yeah. joy. Yeah. <laughs> and you'll have lots of glitter. <laughs> right. So where do you guys want to be? 
we'll stay here in Sanders place. <laughs> 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 right, they go running off. Uh, let's see, uh, bomb maker. This is your big luck roll. Lower is better. This is for how much maximum glitter that they fucking spread for the Christmas joy. Happy. Nice. <laughs> right. So, uh, you made it by 30, I see. Yeah. Right. Huge explosions rip through uh, Santa's workshop. Everybody, give me a sanity roll as you have caused the death of sentient creatures who are really nice. If you, know, if I you, feel better now. <laughs> if, you, if you make it, it's one point toward cold blood and killing. If you fail it, then, you know. Yeah, you guys are like, yay! <laughs> Chris almost spit up his drink. <laughs> Shit, that might be the name of the show, Maximum Glitter. Um, <laughs> right. Um, after after the twin explosions have gone off, uh, and you guys can hear these screams of the damned and dying. <laughs> my leg! I can't find my leg! I'm going to go find Bernard now, or whatever the fuck that dude's name is. You got me so fucking twisted Javara. on that name. Javara. Shay Shagat. <laughs> whatever his name is. Evil you Elf, guys, let's go. Yeah, all are, right, you guys walking, are you guys walking over to the workshop? Are you running over to the workshop, or what? Walking, you... because give Jin, he's he's got to have time to come out of his office, go downstairs, and check out what's going on. If we <laughs> run over there, he won't have time to do that. Right, as you guys walk over there, give me spot rolls of negative 30. Uh, spot. There you go. Nice. You know, so, uh, by the way, getting in, super easy because uh, one of the elves was kind of close to the wall and it came down. <laughs> right, everybody except McKay then notices uh, uh, the one elf who's wearing a shasha Guevara t-shirt and with a bray on standing up in the address the troops place going he looks like he's currently losing a bucket of fucking sanity if anybody had a rifle you could probably waste him right now or if you brought along the RPG and wanted to fucking squeeze how off far away is he probably about 80 meters oh okay no, I want to do the slow walk, like three Santas just entered the workshop, <laughs> doing the badass walk. Oh, oh, oh. Give me, oh, oh. Give, me yes. give me a badass I walk, bro. Badass walk skill. Just, it's, it's <laughs> yeah, so I do also have badass walk skill. All right, Chris, do you have um, badass walk? I'm, I'm going to try. Let's see if I gain that if, skill. Yeah, if everybody makes it, if all of you guys make it, it'll be the slow motion walk, and I'll give nope. everybody a refill if everybody makes it. I no, made it. No. <laughs> okay, hold on. Make 